So have I found the ultimate in goggle antennas. This antenna actually mounts on my goggles and fits inside my bag without removing any antennas. Is this the ultimate solution? I guess you'll have to watch and see. Here it is, this is the antenna here. Um, Basically, it's this little PCB that you see right here. And um, I use double side tape to stick it on there. I know they make 3D printed mounts, but this seems to be the best to me. I use two 45 degree um, converters, which it doesn't come with, but what I find is when you plug them directly in, the wire kind of pushes off the side, which is gonna put a lot of stress on it uh, when you put in your bag and stuff. So I think it's a pretty good recommendation to, uh, to use an adapter like this. What's crazy is I'm pairing this with a rapid fire, and these are two, you know, uh, TBS was selling this, and rapid fire is like their uh, arch nemesis, I guess as you would. So I'm kind of pairing two technologies from two totally different people. I'm not sure if uh, this uh, is made by TBS or it's another company. I'd have to look more into that. But I just know when I did my wholesale orders, they had this, and I figured I'd get it and try it out. They also make an antenna that goes on your quad as well, um, it's similar to this, this card like this, and it's supposed to even pair even better. We, we didn't actually use the quad um, antenna because obviously I just want to test our normal setup versus this setup to see if it's better and not everyone wants to go out and replace every antenna on their quad. Uh, so we're going to do uh, a little bit of uh, testing and uh, DVR and then we'll see what the results end up showing to see if this is a great replacement for your existing setup. Oh, there goes my video. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clear. Might want to go up just a little higher. Uh, I guess you're afraid of dropping out of the air. Uh, what what milliwatts are you on? 200? Yeah. That's a, this is a pretty good distance. Anyone seen any breakup at all? No, I'm crystal clear. Man. Wait, you're getting breakup, Preston? I'm getting zero breakup. Yeah, neither. Neither do I. Zero breakup. <laughs> Maybe we should have had Dell fly it. Is your crossfire at 200,000 milliwatts? I, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed right now. Yeah, I got nothing so far. This is crazy. We're gonna run out of battery. Turn your head real quick and see how bad it is. Yeah, I'm turning my head now and no breakup at all. Yeah, I'm even gonna face backwards. I'm facing backwards right now, completely backwards. Zero breakup. Hey, look, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Zero breakup, guys. We are almost, uh, we're coming almost at a mile. Those houses up there are just about a mile. The one coming up. Too. Someone should have brought a scooter to go fetch this when it falls out of the air. I'm getting no breakup still. Okay. Oh, we get a break. Okay, yeah, now we're getting some breakup. All right, I'm okay still. Up. Oh, and he landed, and yep, yeah, they're in the grass. I got the breakup. I'll pop it back up. Del, so do you not have the picture either? Oh uh, no, it's but it's it only did it when it hit the grass. Me, me too. So we all had good video. Preston had the worst. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there's, there's some game here. You're getting yeah, for sure. I think uh, that was a pretty good test. So to me, the results speak for themselves. Um, the footage looked great. Uh, Preston had to actually land his quad before I lost video at all, and um, obviously Noodle didn't lose video with his uh, setup either, but his mount to a tree, and I think a tree's a little harder to carry around than this little wedge. Um, I, I, we've flown this in the, around the uh, park, we've flown around trees. All in all, this always seems to have a better picture than our normal antenna setups we're used to using. I'm not sure about going against the patch, if a patch would be better, but um, I'm looking for something that just works everywhere, and I notice when I'm using patches, that they'll tend to pick up someone else's signal in like a, a race situation. I think the patch is such a strong gain that it ends up picking up someone else's and putting it on your frequency. So most races I end up taking the patch off altogether. 
This doesn't appear to have that problem. Uh, we'll have to do more testing and see, but I do think that this is quite a good deal. This is an excellent solution, especially if you just want to throw your goggles in a bag and not have to worry about them anymore. Um, no disconnecting antennas, no messing with anything. Uh, the, I'm going to put these on our site because they're amazing, and I think I'm going to use this from now on, and I'm betting uh, my son will as well.